but one step at a time, sweetie. Small wins are wins as well. And sometimes all we get is the smaller ones. You know, we don't just get the big wins automatically like that. Hi guys. Well, the bird's nest. I did a flat wrap last night, but um, now I need to take it out. So I'm like trying to undo it in the same direction, but it's already kind of frizzing up a little bit, which is okay. But um, I want to put my hair up in a bun. This brush feels so good on my scalp. I need to oil my scalp, but I can't do that until later. And let me tell you guys something, okay? It is 6 o'clock, and I have like... How many minutes? First of all, where is the scrunchie? I have like 20 minutes to like wake my husband up because if not, I'm gonna be late. But my hair being straightened makes my life so easy because it's so easy to just throw it up in a bun. Like, come on. Love that for me. I need to go in today and oil my scalp because it's a little bit dry. Bought edge control last night. Which means that I'll be able to slick my edges down right now. I'm just wearing my undershirt right now. And then I'm going to go put my scrubs on. But I just wanted to pop in, say hi, start the vlog. And um, put my hair up. But um, yeah. I gotta go. Yish. Well, since I'm about to be, I like slicked it down. So the front looks good temporarily. But the back looks like a bird's nest. Okay. Okay, and that's how it's gonna have to work for today because I don't have any time. Like, I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna be washing my hair because it really smells burnt. But for right now, this is gonna have to do. So, maybe the next couple of mornings I'll go in with some gel or whatever because I'm not gonna go in and like straighten it anymore because that is too much and that would be me begging for heat damage. So for right now, this is how it's going to stay. What I'm going to do right now, for right now, this is how it's going to stay. Right now, I'm going to go put my scrubs on, pack a little something in my pocketbook for lunch, and I'm about to head out later on when I'm coming home. I want to stop at the grocery store to get a few items, and I definitely want to come home and cook because tomorrow we're coming out of the job and I'm going to need lunch because yesterday I really struggled because I had no lunch, and... There just needs to be food here, period. Like, I'm used to it being food where you can always just grab something and go. And right now, we're not really at that stage. So, I need to fix that. I really need to fix that. So, I'm going to attempt to do that today. But in order to do that and to effectively meal prep, I need to pop by the grocery store. I tried walking around and looking at a few things. I need to hurry up and, like, throw my scrubs on to see if I could, like finish that up but i'll see you guys later hi guys just got home from the grocery store and my table is full first of all okay all this plus i still have a few things here on the floor i know y'all seen the cheetos trying to live a healthier life but one step at a time sweetie small wins are wins as well and sometimes all we get is the smaller ones. You know, we don't just get the big wins automatically like that. Taking it a step at a time. But um, I'm going to pack away the groceries that I have. I think I'm going to make something for dinner. I don't know why. I just bought some chicken just now. That is already defrosted. So I would have to go through the motions of actually defrosting chicken. Oh, my God. But I definitely have to cook because if I don't, I'm not going to have any lunch for tomorrow. And... The other day when I didn't have, I really struggled and I don't want to go through that again. So, I'm going to have to cook something. So, take this parcel of chicken out. 
I'm gonna cook that. And I'm gonna just pack the things away. You guys, right now, I'm not in a good position to be on here doing the most right now. I'm a little bit tired and a little bit groggy. It's 4.31, so just know I spent like 45 minutes getting this stuff and like having them come here and everything. So right now I need to like pack away the stuff that would spoil if I don't put them in the fridge and then um and then the other stuff I will leave out until after I sleep and wake up. But I wanted to pop in and update, you know? Hi guys, it's the next morning from the clip you guys just watched. I look a little crazy right now and I should be going to work but I'm making breakfast and praying that I have enough time to make what I'm making, eat, get dressed and still be early for work. That's the goal. I know I'm pushing it but that is the goal. However, I just... However, I just got a notification that my package was downstairs and so I ran down there to look if Amazon was just bugging or if it was down there for real. And it was, and here it is. And I've been waiting on it for a couple of days. So just know I'm very excited that it's here, but I can't even go into that right now because I already have enough going on and I haven't even found what I'm gonna wear to work yet. So I need to figure that out, finish making breakfast and eat that and get my shit together and leave. And I still, have not done my hair yet so I have a lot going on so I'm gonna need to just get it together real quick but when I come home later I will go into that package and show you guys what's in there promise this is the last time so I just noticed that there's a difference with men in the kitchen and women in the kitchen when I make breakfast when I make breakfast I use like just one pot one pan like one pot that I use to like boil the water to make the tea. I need to get a kettle as I'm on the topic. One of the electric ones anyways. One pot, one pan, the spatula, whatever. And I wash up as I go along. So when I'm done cooking, there are no plates in the sink. Almost always. Almost always. When my husband makes breakfast, so many pots, so many pans. Cups, spoons, forks, knives. <laughs> when he's done, the sink is full. He doesn't wash up as he goes along so we could sit down and eat breakfast and then the sink is full and then sometimes he'll go and wash it afterwards and sometimes it's just in the sink but i feel like it's so crazy because just now i was done making breakfast and then i realized that the only thing i was putting in the sink was the spatula and a knife and the, there's a huge difference when he gets to this point of the breakfast making the sink is a mess we're not gonna judge She's ready, but listen guys, I'm truly and utterly ready to put some gel in my hair and like call it a day. Just now I struggled with so much edge control around it and <laughs> the back still looks a little funny, but that'll have to do because I'm not really in the mood to be doing that much with hair right now. I really was going to wash it tomorrow, but my friend was saying, you know, to just keep it straightened for like... The rest of the month which i'm really aiming towards doing but i'm getting a little frustrated with it i can't lie so we don't know if that's actually gonna happen anyways i'm ready all dressed i'm ready to go i just need to put my lunch in my pocketbook and then it's good so we'll see you guys later when i come home to open my packages i'm hoping the rest are here by then oh gosh this is starting to okay we gotta do something about that Oh, God. Okay.